return on investment calculator, uh, just like HubSpot. And uh, I'm sure all of you have uh, heard of and uh, or perhaps utilize uh, HubSpot's great services. And um, the reason they use a calculator as one of their high-performing lead generation uh, funnels is because it works. A calculator absolutely works. And I would uh, uh, challenge you to um, create your own. And this uh, is going to be a uh, quick 20-minute tutorial on how you, too, can put together a uh, high-returning calculator uh, for your website, just like HubSpot. I'm going to show you what HubSpot does and then what I've done to recreate what they've done and, in turn, how you can recreate what I will show you shortly in the next few minutes. Um, so basically what this calculator does is simulates the potential return on investment that you could realize by working with HubSpot. So in this case I have to manually enter the uh, data in points. Let's assume I've got uh, a thousand monthly visitors and let's assume of that amount a hundred become leads and let's assume of that amount 10 become customers and let's assume that my product and service that I'm selling is a thousand dollars okay once we hit calculate just takes a moment and uh, we have the uh, results uh, immediately on the screen now the um, the thing that um, is occurring here is that um, HubSpot doesn't ask us for our name and email address to give us the results and uh, the reason is is they've got uh, a very large team that um, will be picking up uh, my IP and uh, I will be getting uh, retargeted uh, with HubSpot messages which is all perfectly fine and um, so this just highlights uh, the um, the different uh, aspects uh, that I could perhaps possibly achieve uh, by working with HubSpot nicely laid out in a bar graph and uh, of course tabulated over here I could have perhaps a almost a half million dollar increase in annual revenue uh, after working with HubSpot uh, and their software uh, after 12 months so that's certainly compelling and uh, as a um, website visitor uh, to HubSpot site, um, you know, the calculator is something that um, I would have uh, been attracted to because obviously I'm uh, a um, individual looking for products and services that they have and I'm uh, doing perhaps some comparison shopping. But the beauty of a calculator is it allows me uh, to personalize the results based on my inputs. Um, so this gives me a very clear picture of the uh, possibilities of working with uh, HubSpot and they make it uh, you know very easy for me to uh, engage with their uh, with their site with their brand and uh, that is the uh, the, um, the high converting uh, aspect of calculators uh, is that they address the uh, the person's question uh, specifics uh, and uh, and give immediate uh, personalized results. And that's what uh, people want. People are looking for information. Uh, you have eight seconds to capture a, a visitor's attention uh, on your site, engage with them somehow, uh, or they're off like a flock of uh, startled pigeons. And that's what you do not want. And I'm here to show how you can turn that around. Um, so I have put together my uh, version of the uh, calculator and uh, in this case uh, because it's um, specific to the um, uh, industry in which I work which is um, interactive content uh, which includes calculators uh, assessments uh, polls surveys quizzes that type of thing that um, uh, stops your uh, busy uh, visitor uh, cold and engages with them and personalizes their journey in a frictionless um, experience, um, ultimately allowing you to continue the no like, and trust lead nurturing. And uh, this dramatically increases sales. Uh, in fact, it dramatically increases uh, your on-site conversions by a factor of two times.
So uh, that is why I'm uh, spending some time here to uh, walk you through how you can create one of your own calculators if you are at all interested in um, increasing your on-site conversions by two times. I mean, just think what that could do for you. And this calculator actually will prove this to you. So again, how much money am I actually missing out on by not having a calculator or quiz on my site? Then continues on to say this calculator simulates the potential return to you by including a calculator or quiz on your website. So let's click show me. I'm very curious. Uh, I want to know uh, as a marketer, as a uh, online business owner, uh, how can I in increase uh, my conversions to increase my sales, to increase uh, revenue and ultimately my bottom line? I mean, that's what you're in business for, okay? Uh, in this case, uh, what I've uh, chosen to do to make it uh, brain dead simple is as opposed to having to manually uh, uh, input uh, your numbers, I've just created a, a slider. Uh, so, uh, first question. Uh, how many visitors per month do you currently average on your website? Well, let's say a thousand. Let's just bring it up to a thousand. Okay, come on. Just one more little tweak here. Okay, well, we'll leave it at uh, 984. Uh, we'll just tap continue for the next question. And uh, that will be coming up momentarily. Okay, so uh, what is your average monthly lead conversion rate? And uh, in the help menu, uh, for those that don't understand that, uh, the example is the number of newsletter signups uh, that you would have divided by your on-site visitors. So let's assume that you have a uh, hundred, whoops, um, uh, yeah, that you have a uh, hundred uh, people uh, out of your typical thousand uh, visitors uh, on a monthly basis. Uh, that do sign up uh, uh, for your newsletter. So that gives you a 10% uh, conversion rate. So we've moved the slider over 10% and we will just hit uh, continue. CS Parallels HubSpot questions um, it's just presented slightly differently. Uh, what is the average monthly sales conversion rate as a percentage? And so again, trying to be helpful, uh, it's the number of sales uh, two lead conversions, for example, uh, 10 sales divided by 100 leads. So let's just work with the uh, with that uh, to give us 10%. Again, just making it very easy uh, by using the slider. And uh, we'll hit continue. And just wait for a moment for the next screen to come up. Uh, internet seems to be a little slow today. A lot of traffic, I guess, because of the uh, COVID. People are at home, it's Sunday evening, and uh, people are online. Anyway, uh, now, how much does your product or service cost? Uh, so let's just work with our example of uh, the one that HubSpot uh, put together, or the one that I just ran through quickly uh, with HubSpot. So let's say $1,000, OK? Uh, OK, now in this case, as a small business owner, uh, you want to get a name and email address uh, before you present the results. So I'll just uh, populate that very quickly. Uh, you want uh, to um, get this information, obviously, so that you can uh, present the results and uh, carry on the conversation uh, um, via your um, uh, autoresponder, uh, you know, welcome aboard, drip sequencing, uh, continuing the no like and trust. Okay, so we'll just hit submit uh, because I'm curious, uh, as I'm sure you are, to see what the results uh, are. And uh, these are, again, personalized results, so dependent on what the inputs are, uh, the um, the output uh, is going to be uh, personalized. Now, just think in terms of your business, how this how this could impact uh, the uh, the buying decision of a, a visitor that just landed on your uh, uh, website. Uh, whether you're a contractor um, uh, having put together a quick uh, return on investment calculator showing uh, how many dollars you could save for a uh, person to remodel their uh, their kitchen, uh, you could be a service provider. 
uh, you know, showing um, the, the benefits uh, and cost savings uh, to use, uh, you know, ABC services, you know, that type of thing. Uh, and uh, the list goes on. And uh, I'm, I'm sure that, uh, that you get the idea. Um, so the results are in. Um, currently, a person who would be utilizing traditional passive income, you know, writing articles, blogging, that type of thing, uh, based on the inputs, um, would see revenue uh, perhaps a little more than $10,000 um, uh, a year. Uh, on the other hand, utilizing interactive content, uh, because we know that that uh, typically uh, uh, doubles your online conversions, uh, you would look at a possible uh, increase uh, of, um, in fact, doubling your income to approximately $21,500, okay? And uh, so we've shown that on a bar graph as part of the results, and uh, we've also shown that um, here uh, as, as a quick read, okay? Now, uh, in this case, uh, again, as a... Um, modern day marketer you want to carry on the, the um, uh, conversation and uh, so in this case uh, there's a call to action which you always should have after a, a results page uh, you want to see how to get started fast well yes I do so I'm going to just click that and um, show you that in this case I've determined that a um, uh, the best uh, place for an individual uh, to go uh, to learn more is to direct them to an article uh, on my blog, on my website, um, successonthefly.com, uh, to learn a quick start way uh, to get started uh, utilizing conversational uh, uh, marketing and, uh, and interactive um, content. And um, just waiting for things to populate. Okay, so here now this is where individuals are uh, redirected uh, after they've taken the uh, the quiz, uh, and of course um, immediately in the um, in their inbox uh, they will already have a a welcome message and um, and next steps. Okay, so uh, here's a how to video. Uh, where an individual can learn very quickly how to get a, um, a digital asset up and running uh, on their website and uh, start, uh, you know, putting the um, uh, the um, um, interactive content uh, challenge uh, to the test. Okay, so um, if uh, if you still have a few moments I'm going to show you how exactly to uh, to recreate this uh, utilizing a, a great platform called uh, Outgrow. Uh, you can um, get a, a free seven-day trial over at outgrow.co. I've been utilizing them for uh, years for all my uh, calculators and quizzes and I'd suggest that you uh, give them a, a quick uh, sign up and um, put them through their paces and see if they uh, if they would make sense for you and um, so I'll just go into the back office uh, um, just a minute here I lost my back office okay Just going to pause this for a moment.
Okay, and we're back. Um, found my uh, dashboard, and um, so we're in the um, uh, outgrow.co uh, dashboard, and um, this is uh, what the uh, welcome screen looks like uh, from the uh, calculator that I just uh, went through quickly with you. And uh, again, this is just to show you how to quickly set up your own calculator as well. Uh, best thing to do is uh, have. Um, three or four or five questions already uh, to go uh, with the corresponding um, uh, you know answers and how you'd like to present it uh, and um, determine how you'd like your welcome screen set up uh, I'd always suggest that um, instead of asking for name and email address right up front uh, you wait uh, till after the questions have been answered and uh, then because you've uh, uh, enticed your visitor with micro commitments to answer each question they of course want to know the personalized results uh, and after they've um, you know invested uh, a, you know a minute or so of their time in your calculator um, you know it's going to be a lot easier for them to um, to give you their name and email address uh, at the end rather than at the beginning so just a uh, FYI uh, professional uh, tip there for you uh, all your um, headings uh, subheadings and such are over on the uh, the right hand screen here uh, you can change the uh, button text to uh, whatever um, you wish it to say um, I always like to go with a personalization as opposed to just a straight uh, you know calculate or uh, submit uh, you want to make it as um, as uh, you know personal as, as possible um, you can add more questions you can take away questions here on the um, on the left hand side so if I just hit uh, question one with how many visitors uh, per month do you currently average uh, and uh, you can depending on how you want your quiz uh, pardon me calculator to um, to be viewed uh, over here on the right you can uh, change the type uh, from slider to um, um, you know to drop down to text area uh, multi select that would be uh, you know multiple uh, answers um, you can ask for an opinion scale uh, th there's a variety um, you can include images so a person just has to you know click an appropriate image to answer a question so uh, there's a lot of versatility here uh, of course you can change the background to uh, any image that's uh, appropriate for you for your brand uh, you know color um, you know that type of thing um, then of course um, you can, if you wish, uh, include help text uh, that uh, that will show up under the uh, the question to um, to be helpful, so that you get a, a higher completion rate uh, for your calculator. Uh, and then you just uh, indicate the variables that you want. In this case, the slider uh, to um, uh, to show. Uh, and uh, again, it's very straightforward. Uh, the lead generation form uh, is exactly that. How can we get the results to you? Uh, name and uh, email address uh, you can ask for more information uh, again it's all here on the uh, right hand side you can ask for a phone number uh, you can um, have a person skip this if if you so choose for whatever your reasons would be so a person wouldn't even have to enter name ad address or uh, phone number uh, and they could skip right to the results if that was uh, important to you um, and uh, of course for the results um, you want to make sure that after your um, uh, calculator is complete that the uh, the formula uh, renders correctly so that the bar graphs are correct and so the um, the numbers that are personalized uh, would be uh, of course correct for the individual and then make sure to um, add your call to action um, with a clickable button that will send your um, your new leads uh, to an appropriate, uh, you know, follow-up uh, page. Uh, it could be a, a selection of uh, of inventory that a person could immediately look and, and buy from. Uh, could be a, a training video. It could be a you know YouTube video. It could be a, a, a webinar. Uh, it could be a um, uh, you know a short testimonial from you know happy and satisfied clients. Uh, again, it depends on 
what it is that uh, that you wish as next step after a person has uh, has come through uh, your calculator. Uh, additionally, in the back office uh, here with Outgrow, uh, there, there's there's such a variety of um, of things. Uh, to continue personalizing this, uh, such as a first email that goes out, um, and um, if uh, you uh, watching this is actually have actually gone through this calculator, you will see how that works for yourself. Um, additionally, the uh, integrations uh, for the leads um, can go directly into. For example, your free HubSpot CRM uh, can go to your uh, you know MailerLite uh, account. If you uh, use um, a Mailchimp, it can uh, you know the information can be dropped uh, right in there. Uh, there's a, a, a huge variety of, of integrations uh, already built into Outgrow, so it makes it uh, you know brain dead simple uh, to hook this up on the back end um, with a. Um, um, E email automation. Uh, they of course uh, <clears throat> have a integration via Zapier, so you can um, hook up uh, other apps uh, on the back end if you wish. Uh, they have a, a great reporting, uh, performance reporting uh, analysis, where you can see um, uh, your conversions and how. Um, uh, your people are coming through the funnel. There may be uh, a, a question that is a, a, um, a stumbling block that people aren't really moving past. Uh, so you might want to uh, rephrase that or take it out of your um, of your lineup altogether, so you get a higher completion rate. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, the reason the calculators work so well is that th the information is personalized to the uh, uh, visitor who is giving their inputs, and uh, you will be um, uh, pleasantly amazed at the um, at the amount of uh, of um, uh, conversions that you will get once you start uh, putting uh, a calculator on your website. Uh, it can be uh, it can be home um, and accessed via your um, hello bar. Uh, at the top of your um, uh, you know website screen, it can be um, uh, utilized as a uh, as a pop up, a timed pop up uh, that would come on screen after visitors um, on your site uh, for an, a certain number of seconds. It can be a, a pop up on exit. Uh, can be utilized as a uh, widget uh, in your uh, sidebar of your website or blog. Um, there obviously is a shareable clickable link that you can um, utilize on all your uh, social media um, platforms as well as you can uh, include it in your uh, emails uh, and um, we, you know once clicked uh, then your calculator pops up on the individual screen and um, engages them and uh, you know hopefully you get a, a new uh, lead and uh, a quick sale uh, because of uh, the uh, generosity of sharing um, your abilities and skills uh, uh, in the industry that you serve uh, with your um, visitors who are looking to get their answers um, quickly, uh, effectively, uh, and uh, again, the personalization is something that um, is going to impress uh, your um, your new, new leads and um, you are going to see a, a very nice ramp up in sales uh, once you start utilizing calculators um, within your marketing stack and uh, be delighted to uh, uh, answer any questions that you have. Uh, happy always to uh, talk to individuals who are looking to uh, uh, increase their edge. Um, you know, you probably have a beautiful website, so do your competitors. Uh, you've got good content and good information, well, so do your competitors. Um, so what's, uh, you know, what sets you apart? Uh, and I'm always happy to speak with people who are serious about um, differentiating themselves and to setting themselves uh, apart from their uh, competitors, uh, utilizing uh, very simple tools um, that will um, uh, not only help your visitors, but help your bottom line and 
at the end of the day, isn't that what it's all about? So uh, in summation, thanks for uh, being part of this uh, short video. Uh, I hope you've um, found that the time spent here has been well spent. Um, again, uh, happy to uh, speak with you uh, and chat and uh, always uh, pitch free. And uh, I should include a, a link here somewhere that will make it uh, easy for you to um, get in touch with us if you uh, want to further the, uh, the conversation. So uh, in the meantime, all the very best of continued success. I wish you uh, uh, much, um, much success uh, by including um, calculators, uh, quizzes, assessments, um, any type of interactive uh, uh, content on your site. Uh, you're going to reap the rewards and, uh, and good for you. So Mark Huber from Vancouver, Canada, wishing you a